Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Before Japan, we're going to be answering the question for you How much Japanese do you need to know before you go to Japan? And so I have a lot of different thoughts about the subject. Feel free to discuss it with me in the comments down below in the boobity boops. I'm um, always encouraging more conversation with these sorts of things, as long as you keep it civil, of course. But my ultimate answer for how much Japanese do you need to know before you go to Japan is ultimately. It depends, depending on several factors. Now, one of the factors being how long you plan on staying in Japan and also what you're going to Japan for. So, if you're just coming over for a couple weeks to see the sights in the big cities and stuff, you don't really need to know a lot of Japanese, if any, really. Tokyo is one of the most foreign friendly cities in Japan, if not the most. Foreign friendly city in Japan. You know, there's English on the majority of sites and in the restaurants, and you got pictures and all kinds of other stuff for the menus. So it's very easy to navigate around in Tokyo. And a lot of the train systems are laid out in English. And once you get kind of the hang of, you know, where the different train lines are, and if you have like Google Maps or Hyperdia on your phone, it's pretty easy to get around Tokyo once you kind of know how things work.、Uh, at least it's very easy to get to the main sites.、Um, if you go to some, some place a bit off the beaten path, you might have some trouble, but、uh, it is definitely doable in Tokyo. And also in other major touristy spots in Japan, you know, if you go to like Kyoto, I hear Osaka is pretty good, as well as Fukuoka. But if you stray away from the bigger cities, You might have a harder time if your Japanese isn't really up to snuff. Now, is it impossible to go to those places? Not really. It's just going to be a bit more difficult to navigate and you know, communicate to people what you want if your Japanese skill is lacking. As far as like, how much Japanese you need to know if you want to be a student or if you plan on working in Japan, you know, ultimately it depends on your field. And it depends on what school you're going to. Now, if you're going to an American style university like Temple University,、uh, Lakeland University, or like Sophia, or several others that are out in the Tokyo area, again, since you're in Tokyo, most foreign friendly city in Japan, you know, you could get by. Your entire time there without learning a single bit of Japanese. Will your quality of life be good not knowing any Japanese? I don't think so. I think that the more Japanese you know, the better your time will be. And that goes across the board, whether you're visiting for a couple weeks or you plan on working there or studying abroad. Having a good grasp of the language or at least knowing some basic phrases will definitely help you in.、Uh, Your time in Japan. You know, for studying abroad and stuff, you know, obviously if you're going to you know, a Japanese university, you'll definitely need to learn、uh, some Japanese and brush up on your skills there in order to even understand what the professors are talking about. But if you're going to an American university, like I said, you know, probably don't need to know much Japanese, but your time there will definitely be better if you know more Japanese. And that also goes for、uh, working. In Japan as well. Now, a lot of people, when they come over to Japan, a lot of them start off as English teachers. And then from there, they either continue down that path or they go into other fields like IT, typically is what I see, and a bunch of other little miscellaneous niches in Japan. But starting off, most people start off as English teachers. You know, typically, English teachers aren't really allowed to speak Japanese. In school, unless it's with other teachers, they aren't really allowed to speak、uh, Japanese in front of the students. Now, some schools might have different policies on this or might be a little more lax on it, but generally speaking, of my friends that I've talked to who you know, teach English in Japan or have taught English in Japan basically say the same thing. So, your mileage may vary ultimately. In that case, I would definitely recommend learning Japanese to, if anything, Communicate with your coworkers. Discuss some things you know, with you know, the vice principal, principal, and so on and so forth, should some issues arise. So, ultimately, guys, at the end of the day, as Tiko Sam would say,、uh, the more Japanese you know, the better a time you'll have in Japan. 
but that's not to say you have to like know all the Japanese in order to even visit for a couple weeks. Now, if you guys are just coming over for a quick couple week visit, I wouldn't really worry about it too much. Maybe learn a couple quick phrases and you know memorize some kanji and stuff, just like some basic stuff, and you'll be fine. So, that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. As always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.